every you know woman knows that once you dye your hair red, you got to change the whole persona. Hey, it's, that's a, it's a whole new moment. The day you dyed your hair red, it was such a change for you. you. Mean the day God blessed me with my red hair naturally. I don't know. Thank you very much. Just, there are rumors out there. That's all I'm saying. Who's who's talking in the chat about me? that? Oh, it's fake. Oh, not real. Wow. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go. All right, This has well, been a great run. Bye. I'm going to watch uh, freaking Dua Lipa's new music video for All right, Houdini. I guess I'll watch it with you, you too. Should. And then I'll bounce. Okay. Goodbye. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Two Game Mats. It's Matt Palmer. And it's Matt Steele. And today we are back again with someone who really and truly made the album of the pandemic for me and uh, I believe for Matt Steele as well. Miss Dua Lipa is finally back with a legit album era. I don't think we have the album title yet, but the track Houdini has been teased about, I feel like, in the past couple of weeks. I feel like 5,000 album titles have been teased <laughs> in the past couple of weeks, and I'm just like, which is it? Who's to say? I don't think there's an album. We okay. just have the song. We're ready for a new era. Is it? From you haven't listened to the clip yet. I have not really. Neither have no. I. We are very, very strong. We are yes. much stronger than we were when uh, Future Nostalgia leaked. Which, by the way, <laughs> it was the pandemic. We only could do so much. We were desperate, guys. We were, we were desperate for anything because the album was great, and yes. we did buy it afterwards. Yes. Um. So, but now we are onto a different era. But is this going to be a, another disco moment, another dance moment, or is there going to be? Is it going to be like a, a, a reinvention for? Dua? I think it's going to be a bit of a reinvention. Okay. She dyed that hair, and yeah. I feel like in the Dance the Night video there was a big thing about her smashing the. Disco ball, and I hear that the song is co-produced by members of Tame Impala, who I don't know them very well. I know that they, you know, produced or you know did. I don't know if it's a cover or a sample, but same mistakes on uh, Rihanna's "Anti" is a Tame Impala sample, very heavily, maybe a cover. Who knows? And so I think that's a different, very different sound than what I would describe as like disco up tempo, future nostalgia. Um, I'm looking at the first like frame in yes. the uh, the music video. Yeah. Uh, it looks very much like the Call Your Girl girlfriend music video set <laughs> by Robin. I was kind of being given um, a little bit more hung up by Madonna. Okay. You know, like I feel like that little, I saw a little video clip that was kind of giving me that. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Is it going to be call your girlfriend meets hung up? That would. I mean, be, that would be that's a sway. A per, that's a perfect combo. Hello, two incredible songs. Okay, here we go. This Two Game Mats video is brought to you by our Patreon. It really fucking ourselves, is. Ourselves, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are sponsoring ourselves. Make sure to go to patreon.com slash Two Game Mats to visit our newly revamped Patreon. For $5 a month, you will receive extra bonus content and we'll have at least two of those up a month. We're yes. going through all of your patron requests, reacting, reviewing to your favorite thing. Yes, and you also, for $5 a month, get access to the Discord. Which is like talking to your best friends on a group chat that you just haven't met yet. So become a part of it. It's so much fun. You discuss art, guys. It's a lot of gays and gals with a lot of feelings. Yes. For $10 a month, you get special bonus podcasts that we are calling the Chatty Cathy. Yes. Thank you, Michael Smith, for that name. The Chatty Cathy podcast are just us hanging out with our friends, talking with to them for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and we're going to do one of those a month at the very least. For $15 a month, every month, you can request one video or song or scene for us to react to. And for $25 a month, you can request a long-form review your reaction of a movie, a an album, not an opera, <laughs> but a lot of stuff's on the table. We're gonna make this worth your while, darling. I promise, like Mariah said on Say Something, if it's worth your while, and this is. <laughs> this is. This is. Thank you so much. And now we're we'll back to the regular scheduled video. All right, there's a beat. I'm thrilled we already. We love a beat. Ah. Uh. She looks so good. It looks great, yeah. That red hair looks great. It doesn't look natural, but it looks like a fun. <laughs> I think it looks as natural as Jill Zarin's hair. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Special effects. This is very... Ah. Uh. <laughs> I like that. I assume this is the chorus? Was was the chorus. All right. Look at those gays with red hair. <laughs> she's grown so much since that like viral of her dancing badly on stage went around. Uh, she's moving. Man. What a time. She does look great dancing. Mm. And it feels like a little like. I don't know, sweatier and like more yes. underground feeling than Future like Nostalgia. Choice of on Rush. <laughs> exactly. She's. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh uh. Look at her bend. Oh, that post. It's a great post. 
And the first her friend. Ben. That is Donna McKechnie. Like, uh, like who's Donna ben. McKechnie? The dancer from a chorus line. Oh Broadway yes, star. we did just watch that. Or listen to it at least. Hello? That's very Mariah coded. Like, yes. I won't be moving, but some Just, a group of men will move me. Yes. But she's moving. She's jumping. Yeah. The, the men are disappearing like Houdini. Love it. This feels like what I imagine Britney dance, like, rehearsals were like back in the day. Sure. <laughs> Just a lot of dudes and her being iconic. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I love that. A nice cult circle. <laughs> oh, key oh, change. I love this. I ah. love that the chords moved. <laughs> yes. I wish the bridge is just instrumental. I, I would love that. It kind of is. <laughs> She's I just wing over it. Look at all those fucking redheads. Why am I not in this video? I, I know. You need me. Houdini. This is kind of giving um the end of that sad Paul Mescal movie I liked. <laughs> <laughs> After Sun. Yes. Yes. Oh my. This is sweaty and hot and fun. I love it. I can't believe how good she is she at dancing looks great. now. She is this on is... that floor rolling around. Oh, she's a performer. So Wow. Uh, okay. You know what? That's what I look like after I'm done a nice dance. I feel like sweaty and redheaded. <laughs> I feel like Dua Lipa is the perfect example of like, even if you're shitty at something right now, keep going and keep working at it. Cause my God, if that was the first music video that I'd ever seen of her, I'd be like, she is a natural performer. She has been dancing her entire life. She is moving as well as anyone would expect a big ass pop star to. I'm telling you, those layouts where she is literally like, like upside down while still standing up. Brilliant. Unbelievable. Like the, her, she was like, you know what? One thing I do good, arch my back. <laughs> and, and it's like, yes, you will arch it back until it snaps off. And that song is it's great. So incredible. Yeah. And then, like every part is better than the last. Like I really liked the chorus initially, but it grew on me as we heard it. But those verses were so singable mm -hmm. and nice over that like very sexy, still dancey, but again, more underground grungy versus like the polished sheen of future nostalgia. Yes, it is a very good sort of like brand out while still because you know you think of Dua Lipa future nostalgia and you're like oh I don't want this fun danciness yes. to end yes. and so she's like okay I'm still going to give you dancey but it's going to be a little sweatier yes. a little dirtier a little grittier there's going to be a few more redheads not real redheads <laughs> but like people with a red tint to their hair I know yes. it's like you know, someone who from the outside was looking in on gays, being like, oh, they seem fun, let's make some up tempo. But now she got in the club. Yes. <laughs> She's gotten into some German club and has heard this great music and has made great music of her own. Once we got to that fucking post, I was yeah. over the moon. The and post then once was we great. got to that bridge. That bridge. I couldn't, out of control. I didn't expect that yeah. we'd be getting different chords. It's pop music in 2023. You think we're just doing four chords for the whole thing. But no, 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 no. Yeah. Dua's giving us something else that didn't feel out of place, didn't feel shoehorned in. I can't wait to listen to that song again. I'm trying to think of the last time I was this excited about a new fucking pop song. A new and a new whole era. Just, it's gonna be like a sweaty, I sexy dance. Like, let's go. I I'm know. Ready. Like you said, if people like that Troy Savon record, which I think is doing very well, especially in the UK this do a leap a record will probably knock our socks She off. was just like, look at all those twinks. I want some twinks in my video. <laughs> Dip them in some, you know, red food coloring yes. and, and, and it'll be my own. You really should have been in that. Could you have done it with the SAG after strike? I See, my hair tint doesn't match their well, hair. If, if they were like, you can be in this video, but you have to dye it this color. I red. would never have my hair be that color. <laughs> That purple, get out okay, of here. Just it, it looks great on them. It's just not for me. Okay, you know right. how some actors don't do nudity? I don't do that tint of red <laughs> on my This doesn't my feel like hair. the same thing, but <laughs> I guess for some people it is. Um, so tell us below what you think of Dua Lipa's new song and music video for Houdini. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Palmer Music. And I, it's Matt Steele. And at Two Game Mats for both of us. We have a podcast that comes out every Monday called Two Game Mats TWO. And we actually uh, record it live on YouTube. So if you are a YouTube person yourself and are around Sunday night, nights at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, come join us. We'll have a live podcast recording. You're going to love it. Go to patreon.com slash 2 mats where you get extra bonus content from us very regularly. Join the Discord and actually get to review or uh, request that we review or react to things that you'd like for certain tiers, of course. And Matt Steele. Yes. Who do we need to give a shout out we to? We need to give a shout out to some of our legendary patrons. Yes. And their names are Jen, Jacob, Montana, Matthew, Jesse, Dallas, Eric, Ruben, Sarah, 
Jordan, Sam, Amy, and Dr. Woods. Ah, we love all of you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon with more 2K Mads. Bye. Bye.